Hello guys, this is Raven's Ministry Walker of the Order of Standing Oak and Raven Temple of CX Wicca. And today, after a long fought, about 10 weeks, we finally have the completion of the mead. I was going to video the tape, the bottling of it the other day, but my AC was not working worth a crap and I had to do it all by myself. And I don't think I wanted to do video of me sweating, you know, bottling it. And what we have here is 25 bottles. It came out. I had to work my ass off to get it to work out where the bottles came out that way. But it did. It was pretty good. And so what today what we're going to do to end up this series is we're going to show it to you. Beautiful. And it, it has a really nice golden color. Now what I used for this, like I said, is water. Uh, Lalvin 71B yeast, uh, 16 pounds of honey, and Tarani red raspberry. Um, uh, it's like a liqueur. It's it's a flavoring that you can get for you know teas and and ice creams and things like that. But like I say, I've got uh, 25 bottles, and this is a bottle that I get to enjoy for myself. The rest of this is gonna the rest of the mead that's in the refrigerator. That's going to be for. Uh, uh, you know, for rituals and other other events and things like that. But this one, I get to enjoy it. And what I'm wanting to do tonight is it's Friday, and I'm going to test this out, see how strong it is, see how tipsy it makes me feel and all that stuff. But what I'm going to do for you guys right now is we're going to pop it open, and we're going to pour a glass. And we're gonna, I'm going to give you kind of my initial thoughts. So what we're going to do is... Pour, pour, pour. Don't want to fill it all the way up, but we'll pour about halfway. Okay. And we'll stick it up there, and you can see it's mostly pretty clear. Um, the uh, glass is probably a little bit more dirty than the than the meat itself. It has a really good clarity. There's no, no floaties and stuff like that. Even if there were floaties, floaties won't hurt you. It's just... It's just something, you know, that your meat isn't perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a swish. Oh, yes. You can smell it. It's very young. You can tell that it has that, that young mead smell. Not getting too much of the fruit yet. But what will happen is, see, what I've done is I've taken those other bottles. And this has been put in the fridge. The only reason why I'm not letting it age out here. Is because my apartment gets so hot, even with the air conditioner running, that I just don't I don't like to drink room temperature mead for one thing, and you know I just I just don't want to have any accidents and stuff. So if there was any kind of back fermentation or anything like that, it saves me from having all of my corks pop or having bottles break. So we're gonna go ahead and let you get a look at that. Mm, short sip. Oh, man. You can tell this is a stronger mead. Um, it definitely has a... It's sweet. Very sweet. But it's got this nice little nub to it. And the thing that I like... Let's take a longer sip. See how it really goes. Yeah, like I say, this is very, very young. But what I think is over time, as we go months down the road, years down the road and stuff, because, uh, you know, over time, it's going to take a while for this mead to uh, to uh, age and, 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 you know, just find its balance and stuff like that. But what I will say is this right here is gorgeous. The raspberry taste, it's in there. You can taste it. And it's very pleasant. Just kind of an offshoot of the glass. And, oh man. This is stuff where you can just sit back and watch TV and, and just just enjoy a glass and, 
and have a good night. So having said that, I'm appreciative. I thank you guys for following me on this journey. We may move on to another flavor. Who knows? And whenever that comes along, I'll post it. We'll see how that goes too. I think the next one that I want to try is I'm, I'm doing, I've been doing these berries. I've done blueberry and this is red raspberry. I think the next time I want to do something with the apple flavor. And so what we might do is a sour apple, a green apple mead, or we might go something just whole different. And what I'm thinking of doing that is doing chocolate cherry, or I'm even thinking of doing a salted caramel mead. Which, believe it or not, there is ways to do that too. So, having said that, I appreciate you guys very much for uh, following me on this journey. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And help, help the channel, help me to help the channel grow. Uh, consider joining me on Patreon. We've got tiers for all kinds of levels that will help this channel grow. Plus, I'm going to put a... a, a a link in the description below that we do have a 600 subscriber giveaway and whenever we hit that 600 subscriber um, we've got some books and a beautiful athame i'm going to be shooting another video about just about them and stuff so keep an eye out for that but just know that we are having a 600 subscriber giveaway so until next time folks this is reverend samantha tree walker the order standing oak and Raven Temple of CX Wicca. And blessing of the old gods. Blessed be and cheers.